So you probably just clicked on the video and you're a little bit confused about what it is and what it's about. So give me a second to explain. WIW's or What I'm Watching's is a new series of videos that I want to start trying to do for a variety of reasons. The main one is just that it helps me be a little bit more consistent with my uploads. I am working on videos and I always have like a lot of ideas going around whether or not they're always being made. And as such, just having a constant series of videos that I can focus on at, at all times that I can at least upload even when I'm stuck in the middle of bigger projects that I'm doing is going to be something that will be really helpful for keeping consistency up on the channel. Also, I just want to let you guys know what I'm watching and what I think about it. A lot of the things that I watch are like not guaranteed to get videos about them, either because I can't think of video ideas or I just didn't feel strongly enough about them to like talk about them. There's just a lot of stuff out there where it's just like, it was pretty good. Can I make a video essay about this? Probably not. I mean, maybe, but I don't like like it enough or dislike it enough to do so. So this lets me do that. WIWs are hopefully going to be essentially like one to four minute little videos about things that I've watched recently. Uh, Eternals is coming out, French Dispatch is coming out, and I might end up doing WIWs for both of those because I will be watching both of those within the next week or so. So yeah, look out for those videos. But with all that out of the way, Let's get to the topic of today's video, Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn. Now I've been on a bit of a Gundam trip lately. Uh, I recently started reading the Mobile Suit Gundam, the origin manga, and I have been having a magnificent time with that. It is amazing. Uh, and so I saw this on Netflix and I was just like, hey, let's check it out. There's also compilation movies for the original Mobile Suit Gundam series from 1979 on there, but those are all about two and a half hours. And also the story in those is not the same as in the manga and reading and watching them at the same time is getting very confusing for me. So I'm just gonna read the manga and then I might watch those later. But for now, I'm just gonna watch Unicorn and yeah, so I finished the first two episodes. I finished the first one on Wednesday night, I believe, and I finished the second one last night, and it is really, really good so far. So a quick preface to the show, Unicorn takes place in the Universal Century timeline, which in Gundam is essentially the setting for most of the shows since like its whole, what, 42 year history uh, since 1979. And for that reason, it can seem very unapproachable, uh, but you would be surprised. I found Unicorn surprisingly accessible, and I think that's a good place to start. I, I do think you need some level of familiarity with the series. The main antagonist of Unicorn is very, very highly referential to slash based on a character from the original Mobile Suit Gundam series, and as such, it's important that you have certain like necessary context. I doubt that this is context you won't find in like a YouTube video though. So if you just go on YouTube and look up like what you need to know before watching Gundam Unicorn or like Mobile Suit Gundam Summarize, that'll probably be enough and then you can just hop right into Unicorn like I did. And if you do, I think you'll be rewarded with something that's well worth your time. The first episode is definitely the weaker of the two, but it's certainly not bad. It's an OVA series, so the production value on it is really high. The score in particular sounds movie level. Uh, the series was composed by Hiroyuki Sawano, who is doing an absolutely magnificent job, and I cannot wait to see what he pulls out for the next few episodes. I do think the writing, especially in the first episode, is a little weak though. The main character, Banisher Lynx, is like crazy dynamic in the first episode. The overall pacing of it is fine, but his like character has a complete 180 by the end of it. In his first few scenes, he is very much like the very typical like 2010s anime protagonist. He's very like silent and brooding, you know. He he doesn't talk to everybody else because he's different. He's to borrow a phrase from Riverdale, weird. But by the end of it, he's ready to step into a war so that he can defend a girl that he meets uh, for the audience like 20 minutes ago and for him uh, like two hours ago max. And that's kind of ridiculous. Like, he's 16 and I'm 16 and I just took the SAT like three hours ago and like, dude, yeah, it's a lot harder to believe and like get invested in that character when it is so unbelievable and like so ridiculous, but I managed to overlook it. I think it's it's one of those things where you just sort of accept it. I feel like there's enough going on in the series where it's not too big of a, of a dampening factor. But yeah, it, it's, he's just kind of a weird character. 
However, the second episode is so, so good. It is better than the first in almost every single way. The direction is so much better. The animation is better. It goes from feeling like something that is a weird cross between like a TV show and a movie and to just straight up having like movie quality direction and animation. On top of that, the writing is so much more intriguing and there's so much more depth and density to it. Every character, a lot of the side characters especially, are so much more fleshed out. There's fun, not fun, I'm not gonna call it fun, it's about war, it's not fun, but there's just super cool and interesting philosophical debates on war. Is it justified? Is it okay to like kill somebody at a war? How does that impact us? What are the effects of war on people who aren't involved in it? Etc, etc. It, it feels so much more comprehensive thematically and on a character level and at almost basically every level compared to the first one. It's just amazing. The second episode is definitely something that if the series keeps at that level or somehow manages to get even better, we're looking at essentially a straight up masterpiece. The primary complaint that I would have with the series on the whole, and I'm hoping this is one that gets properly resolved, is the villain. It's very The Rise of Skywalker-esque in that it brings back, like I mentioned earlier, a very significant character from earlier on in the series. And while they haven't fully explained if it is that character, or if it's a clone of that character, or if it's a guy who got surgery to look like that character, I think it's a little weird. I kind of wish that, like, they would have been more original about getting a villain, but I do think the way that it's done manages to make it work a lot better than The Rise of Skywalker. The fact that his return is played off as an actual mystery and a core aspect of the show is something that immediately makes that revival of the character, or just him getting brought back in, much more interesting than what t ross did. So I will give it points for that. It has redeemed the character somewhat. Overall, having finished the first two episodes of Gundam Unicorn, I am having a brilliant time. I can't wait to see what happens next. I will probably make videos about it. I will probably do more WIWs for it in the future. Again, I'm going to talk about, hopefully, at least Eternals and Fern's Dispatch. Any other shows and stuff that I'm watching that, again, probably won't get videos, I will probably also talk about here in hopefully similarly short form manner. And so that's pretty much it for this video. If you have watched Gun of Unicorn and you liked it, let me know down in the comments below. If you, what do you think about this show? If you're gonna watch it, let me know. I would love to hear that. It makes me really happy when like I talk about something and then someone comments like, oh, you made me wanna watch it. So yeah, if you wanna like make me feel good about myself today, uh, go ahead and do that down in the comment section down below. But anyways, that's gonna be all for today, guys. Run recorders, peace out, and make sure to take care of yourself.